Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. Um, it, it's been a while since I, I, I've done the kind of video that I'm getting ready to do tonight. And I said in, in my last video that YouTube was getting a little bit boring. And I said that the Christian community had sort of died down a little bit around here. But then I, I remembered, you know, I don't spend a lot of time on YouTube anymore. And so I, I got to thinking and I was like, well... Dumbass, you're blocked from half of their channels, and the other half you're not sub to. So, how the fuck would you know what was going on in the Christian community on YouTube? Uh, unless you kind of venture out and do a little probing, which is what I did, mostly out of boredom, this evening. And I ran across a video by, you know, my old pal, buddy, friend of mine, sister, Sunshine. How the fuck are you? Good evening. Uh, and I'm going to link the video I'm responding to, meow, meow, and, and you guys check it out, and, and then come back and watch this video, alright? I assume you've watched it, and now you're back. Good job, you're a very good fucking listener. Sister Sunshine, I really don't know what to say exactly to this video, except I, I'm fucking blown away. I'm blown away, because, like, it, it seems to me you're suffering from this amazing fucking denial <laughs> it's like you really believe uh, and the title of your video to be honest really speaks for itself orwellian university oh no the horror the horror of it all people are being asked to do their jobs properly no ah! <laughs> i mean do you really think because you have a belief Right, a belief that you don't have to do your fucking job because you have that belief. Is that really the idea that you're defending here? No, you thought about it a little bit more and you came to a different conclusion. And your conclusion, after you gave this some thought, was that the students in question here, right, the, the, the one young woman who was expelled, right, and then the other young woman who is facing expulsion, right? Your theory is not that they refuse to counsel, <laughs> right, people who are homosexuals or transgendered individuals, people like that. It's not that they're refusing to counsel them. Your theory is that they're refusing to give these students or patients or whoever the fuck they are their seal of approval for living these particular lifestyles that, as Christians, they see as destructive. That's your theory. The problem with that theory, Sister Sunshine, is that you, no, no matter what you do, you can't force people to approve of things. That, are you ready for this? Drum roll. Check out my drum roll. That is fucking impossible. That is not something that can be done. You can't force anybody to approve of a person's lifestyle. But you can ask that they perform the fucking job that they're supposed to perform. Okay? If they did say, I, I, I'm going to refuse. If they said something like, as a Christian, I'm going to refuse to treat or, or counsel homosexual slash transgendered students then they are refusing to do the job they are training to do they are saying to to the people training them that if i complete my training i will not do the job that i'm trained to do that's as simple as it is what's absolutely fucking appalling to me about this situation is i believe that basically what these two students are saying is if you don't believe the same silly shit that i do then you get no counseling from me that's really all that they're fucking saying and you know it sister sunshine that's all they're saying if you don't believe what i do you get no help from me because i can't i, I can't stay silent about my beliefs I, I can't let you waltz into into my office for some counseling have you tell me that you're a homosexual and me not uh, spend 45 fucking minutes telling you about Jesus Christ, right? Or just refusing to treat you because you're gay. 
And that's really all the fuck this boils down to. I, I, you really think these universities are requiring their students, like every time a homosexual comes into their office, like they're requiring these counselors to say, I'm okay with your homosexuality, I'm a Christian, but that has no bearing at all whatsoever on how I feel about you or your, or your sexuality. I approve. To hell with Jesus and to hell with Christianity. Is that what you really fucking think? That, that, that they're going to require counselors to say? No. No, sister. And you fucking know it. You know it. They just want them to perform their fucking job for everyone. And I know you say in your video, well, these are Christians. They can't in good conscience just let somebody be gay. <laughs> because, you know, if you live a gay lifestyle, lifestyle... Woo, you'll go to hell, and that's harmful. That's harmful to someone. Sister Sunshine, allow me to drag you once more, kicking and screaming back into fucking reality. The reason that the rest of the world doesn't give a fuck about your theory that homosexuality leads to, an, to like a place called hell, where you might burn if you don't read your Bible correctly and you fuck up, right, this imaginary little afterlife joint, Right? The reason nobody else gives a fuck is because you can't prove that it exists. Right? You can't prove that it's there. You can't link homosexuality to a place called hell without using your religion to do so. Right? So we're not interested. People aren't interested. People who need counseling need counseling for things that might actually harm them. Right? Self-mutilation is harmful. You're right. You're right about the whole robbing liquor stores or whatever the fuck, robbing, robbing a bank could be harmful because you might get fucking shot. It's destructive behavior that might lead to actual harm, not imaginary harm. All right, we're not interested in imaginary harm. And until you can produce the goods, the fucking evidence that this place exists and, and you can actually link homosexuality to this horrible afterlife experience, then nobody gives a fuck. And if you are a Christian, and you can't perform a certain job, or you can't counsel fucking homosexual people, because you know, without spending 45 minutes talking to them about Jesus, then you don't belong doing that job. You know, get a job at the fucking church. You know, become a member of clergy or some shit. And I realize if you're a woman, God kind of frowns on that. So I don't know. Be a fucking bus driver. Work at Denny's. All right, do something that doesn't require you um, to, to go against your silly fucking morals. But don't expect, whatever the fuck you do, don't expect the rest of the fucking planet to give a shit or take you seriously at all.